Can you speedrun in Dragon Age or Inquisition? Yeah, you can. But we're not talking about that kind of speedrunning today. It's about how to travel faster without your horse. Speaking of horse riding, it's hardly a good experience in this game. It feels janky, slow, definitely not the way I'll choose to travel. And here I'll show you four ways of speedrunning for a better experience. Number one, charging ball. This ability serves a lot of purpose. Other than charging into the enemies, you can also use it to escape a fight or just simply travel throughout the map after you get a sigil of the Great Bear and the Amulet of Renewal. It gets really handy at it. You can now sprint a much longer distance with the extended stamina pool. When your stamina runs out, switch to another warrior, keep charging, and the other warrior will be ready to go again. Repeat this process until you reach your destination. This method is way more flexible than riding a horse. You can pick up a few herbs and materials on the road without constantly mounting and dismounting your horse, or even surprise your enemies. Number 2. Stealth In order to make it work, you need to combine this ability with the faint touch crack your skin, which gives you 75% faster movement speed when in stealth. There is also a tier 2 material that gives you additional 50% faster movement speed. The more materials you stack, the faster you move. The thing is, it only works during a fight. If you're outside combat, you just need to keep tapping the jump button to keep that movement speed. Seems acceptable, right? But even in this case, the stealth is gonna expire. Thus, moving to the better version, the Ring of Doubt. Your mage will enter stealth if not attacking. And this effect will not expire, unless you start attacking. With the tier 2 and the tier 3 masterworks, you can outrun your horse. Number 3. Shadow Step You have to be a Tempest to do this. Take all your flashes and ride the storm for the extra 3 seconds. Use one of the flashes as the trigger. After it ends, then pop the fire flash immediately. Spam the evade as many times as you can. You become a ghost. But this method alone is not enough to do the trick. Thus, I recommend combining this with the charging ball when your abilities are in cooldown. Number 4. Shield Bash. If you choose the Ring the Bell upgrade, you're lunging forward with Shield Bash. You can also use this as sprinting. Get the enhanced amulet of urgency. It's gonna speed up your shield bash a bit. When you're on a platform, you just fly off the edges and glide even further. It's not the fastest one, but it feels the most satisfied. And you have it. Four speedrunning methods which I always use in my gameplay. And now you can get rid of your dumb horse and try one of these. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to my channel for more Dragon Age content. I'll see you in the next one.